got into gong baths following an eight-week mindfulness course, I saw an advert for a sound meditation and thought I'd go along. Um, it just blew me away completely, and I came out of there saying, I'm going to do this again and again and again. My entry was I met Duncan Rowe at one of the first Mind, Body and Spirit festivals many years ago and I did one of his workshops and then I did love it but I didn't know Gong Bass existed in those days until I met Pam and <laughs> playing at home when Pam was busy doing washing up. <laughs> she said, can I have a go on the gong? And I liked it even more. And then one day Pam said, oh, you, you start playing now during gong bath. So I had her to play. And then I did my training with Sarah Craig uh, two years ago. And then I started buying gongs and the bowls and that, that's how it's happened. I love working with people. I've always worked with people. For the last, um, for the previous 15 years, I worked for a mental health charity, a national mental health charity, working one-to-one -one with people trained as a person-centred counsellor, careers advisor, um, and then I had an illness which took me out of work for a couple of years, and I really missed working with people, but after that first experience of a gong bath, I knew this is what I wanted to do. I could still work with people in quite a profound way, um, but very differently, non-verbally, using the gongs, so I just, I just love playing the gongs and the bowls. The best thing I like about playing the gong baths are the different sounds. Um, I have a very busy mind and the only time it stops is when it's listening to a sound and that's my way of relaxing so I just enjoy the sound and I go with it and the bows tell me what to play next and the gongs tell me what to play next and I just go with it. And uh, I like the responses from people, and uh, I like buying more bowls and more gongs. <laughs> <laughs>